numbers in the church is not growing? Why are a lot of churches closing? Those are a question that we should look at. Why the church is not growing? It may be because we are not doing what we should do as the children of God. There are so many questions. Why a lot of souls are dying without being raised up for their salvation? So that's why love is not just love. Love accompanies compassion. And without compassion, there's no intimate relationship. So love, love will, will uh, com love, compassion, and intimate have a different meaning and different relationship when, it, when you're talking, to, when you're uh, 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 relating it to someone. You can say, I love you. How good is it? How good is it? But my voice is like a mic, right? <laughs> how good? How good is it? How good is love? If there is no compassion. So, when you say you love someone, you gotta have the compassion in you. But still, that's not enough. Even though you love someone and you have compassion, but if you don't have intimate relationship with the person, then, then uh, the relationship is not complete, it's not perfect. Praise the Lord. So it's very important that we must have that intimate relationship with the Lord. Because when we have that intimate relationship with the Lord, then what, uh, we, what we always think about is to obey God. Is to, to, to look upon God and focus ourselves unto God. And then our compassion is for the souls. And our compassion is for, uh, for them to get saved and to go out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Jesus fulfilled his mission to each one of us when we accepted him as our personal savior. And I have two minutes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He remains in us. Well, let me just go ahead and read it. He remains in us to be the light of our life physically and spiritually. He will remain visibly and not to be hidden. Each one of us extended his vision and mission for us to carry his cross so that all that we come across will be lighted from darkness. The light in us is powerful and we must trust and believe in order to succeed. His vision and mission will fail if we hide it under a bowl or basket like the scripture says. And it is sad to say that some hide it not knowing it. The mission must be carried out. If not, people will perish. Take note of that. The mission will be carried out or else people will perish. We must have that compassion to the lost souls. And if we don't act out of our faith, then nothing can be done. We must understand who we are with the light. And we must understand who is our source. And our source is the Holy Spirit. It is God. It is Jesus. Jesus came into this world to attach us with the Lord because of our visions, because of our belief, because we accepted Christ 
as our personal Savior. And we are now attached to the Father. And so when we are attached to the Father, then we have a res responsibility to each one and to all the souls that are living here on earth. All those souls must be raised out. Here in America, although they're openly, visibly see that we can go, but sometimes it's hard to approach them, but you must have the desire to approach them because you love them, because we don't hate them, right? It's because they don't like you, and then in return you will hate them, then what kind of love and compassion is that? There is no such true love in you if we start hating someone that don't like us. So that's why God said, love your enemy. Love your enemy. And then when we love our enemy, then we can continue the work that the Lord bestowed in our heart. That we will continue to, 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 to approach and touch people's lives and tell them the truth about Jesus Christ. Because the truth is in Him, and the salvation is through the Lord Jesus Christ, through the blood. And there is hell, and there is heaven, and there is one God. And they must know that one God who is in heaven is the one that, who, who gave us life. And He gave us life through His Son, Jesus Christ, because God loves us so much. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And because of that love, of God to each one of us. That love has to be extended through our work. Because if we don't, that's why when Christ left earth, when He ascended to heaven, He left the job for us. Hallelujah. Don't forget that. He left the job for us. That's why we must act out of our faith that we must show the whole world who we are, that we are Christians, that we have Jesus in our life. That we love them even though they hate us. But we love them. And we shouldn't be ashamed who we are. And we should not hide that we are the light. Because we are the light according to the scripture in verse 14. Amen. Praise the Lord. And people will die. And end up in hell if we don't go. Because God cares for them. God cares for them. For us, the challenge is not about going out there to build our own kingdom here in Vallejo, Staten, Sacramento, or whichever part of California. It's about building the kingdom of God. Yeah. Come on. That's what God wants us to be. That's what our mindset is supposed to be. It is the building, it is building the kingdom of God not about building our own domain, our own building that we have so that we can be proud of what we do. That hey look, I was able to fill up, I am able to fill up the church. I am good. No, you're not good. It is God who is good. Right? Yes. Yes. It is God. Yes. God only use you. It is not you. God is only using you. Remember that we are visible. We are not of all, we are not on our own. But it is the Holy Spirit that gives us the ability to work for Him. It's because God chose us all. Whether you like it or not, God chose you to be a witness Come on. for His kingdom. God chose you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is good. It's already All five minutes after two. As I promised, and I lied, I guess. <laughs> and you have to lay hands on me. Praise God for forgiveness. Because I lied. It's already five after two. Praise the Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. But thank God for His will and for His for his anointing, praise the Lord. Glory to his name. Well, let me end it then. <laughs> to be committed. What is committed? That's what is committed. That's what I'm going to end right here.
I'm going to ask everyone, what is commitment to all of you? I'm going to have six people to answer, what is commitment to God? How do you commit yourself to God? Brother, I'm going to pick. What is commitment to God? By praying. By praying. By hurry. Uh, by uh, knowing what's in your heart and your prior.